In this video, I'll show you how to create this water effect on a cake base using Isomalt. This is the last video in my cake base series, so don't forget to check out all of the previous cake base designs. If you're new to my channel and interested in ways to be creative with your cake decorating, be sure to subscribe for more tips and tutorials. And if you're ready to take your skills to the next level, check out my cake decoration beginner's guide, which is linked in the description below. So let's get started. The supplies we'll need are isomalt, cotton gloves and latex-free nitro gloves for safety, a large glass measuring cup, airbrush or gel paste color, a bamboo skewer, a 10 inch round cake base, non-stick aluminum foil, double-sided tape, and a pair of scissors. We'll also need clear edible glaze spray, a thin silicone mat, and a torch. These supplies are listed in the description below. First, I'll prepare the cake base by taking a piece of aluminum foil that's slightly larger than the base, crumple it up gently, and then unravel it. If you prefer a smoother water ripple appearance, you'll want to crumple the foil only slightly. Next, I apply double-sided tape to the top of the cake base. Next, I gently press the aluminum foil to the top of my cake base. Flip it over and cut the excess aluminum foil from the perimeter of the base. If additional hold is needed once the foil is cut to the base, place a few more strips of double-sided tape to the base at the perimeter. To continue prepping our base, I'll need to create a boundary to contain our isomalt. I do this by forming aluminum foil into strips with the non-stick side facing out. After I've formed three strips, I apply double-sided tape to the size of my cake base. Notice how the tape is positioned halfway onto the base. I do this on purpose to make it easier to see the tape and remove the tape later. Next, I align the straight sides of the strips to the bottom of the cake base and press in to secure the strips, overlapping them slightly. As an extra measure, I add double-sided tape to the outside seams where the strips overlap. Now that the base is ready, let's prepare our isomalt. I'm using a one pound bag of clear pre-cooked isomalt tiles. These are also referred to as nibs. I pour them into my glass measuring cup and prepare to melt them. Safety first, cotton gloves, then the nitro gloves over the cotton gloves. Now I melt the isomalt tiles in my microwave based on the instructions. Next, I add a very small amount of gel paste color. A small amount of airbrush color may be used as well. The coloring may sizzle when added to the hot isomalt. This is completely normal. Next, I use my bamboo skewer to gently stir the color into the isomalt. Okay, so this is at two times speed, so you don't wanna stir it this fast. Once the colored isomalt rests, the air bubbles will float to the top and dissipate. With the prepared cake base placed on top of a silicone mat, I make sure my side strips are secure, and then I pour the isomalt onto the center of the cake base. If 
If the base isn't covered completely, I gently tilt my base so that the isomalt flows to the edge all around the cake base. Now the base will rest for about 30 minutes to set. After 30 minutes, I remove the strips from the sides. I also remove the tape too. If there are sharp, uneven edges, I don't worry. This is really easy to fix with a small torch. So I use the torch to melt down the jagged isomalt around the edge of the base like this. Super important, always use edible glaze spray to preserve the clear finish of the isomalt. It creates a thin barrier against moisture that can cause the isomalt to appear cloudy. It's also best to create this base the day of the celebration to avoid having to store it in the refrigerator. Never sit a bare cake directly onto this isomalt base. Make sure that your cake is on a cake board before placing it onto the base. I created a water effect base for my son's birthday cake in addition to molding some isomalt gemstones. I was really happy with the overall look of this cake. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button below and subscribe to be notified when I upload a new cake decorating related tutorial. As always, thanks for watching.